Hey guys, what's up? Uh, fall 2022 here, uh, doing my infield renovation work, my overseed project. Uh, check out my video from last year. I did everything different this year. Uh, why did I do everything different? Just pretty much to try different stuff out. Uh, I, if it's broken, why fix it? Um, no good answer for you. So uh, what are some things that I did different this year? Um, let's just start off right at the very start. I, I'm using a different type of grass seed this year. Uh, I've always used perennial rye. It's the, the greatest thing on earth. There's no reason to not use perennial rye. If you're overseeding this fall, use perennial rye. Uh, perennial rye works, it's beautiful, it's awesome. It germinates fast. Um, but for some reason, I'm gonna try Kentucky bluegrass this year just to try something different. Uh, I pre-germinated seed for the first time. I usually don't pre-germinate seed. And little spoiler alert, it'll probably be the last time I pre-germinate seed. Uh, number three, uh, I used uh, a sandy loam, which uh, if you go back to my video last year, I had some reservations about. Uh, I used topper this year. This is uh, the same topper I use on my yard. I really like it. It's an organic material. It's awesome. I, I spread it with a compost spreader and you'll see in this video. Uh, definitely uh, like that. Um, and then what else uh, did I do differently? I, I sorrel rolled as opposed to compact rolling um, and a variety of different things. So again, check out this video, but if you are doing a fall overseed, I would recommend uh, checking out my video from fall of 2021. Uh, I think that's a much better way to go and we'll kind of update you throughout the progress here uh, on this infield. If you could give me uh, any comments or questions you have in the comment section, uh, like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can get uh, notifications and see where the update is on this infield uh, and you'll see uh, a different process that I'm using this year. What's up? Uh, we're going to pre germinate some seed for the infield. I'm going to start pre germinating this. We're going to see where we're at here. Four and a half. So we got to make sure it's like double that. All right, that's as close to eight as we're going to get. That's what eight pounds of grass seed looks like. I'm going to try to make three even bags of, of roughly eight pounds each. Close as we're gonna get. All right, we got three bags filled up with eight pounds of grass seed. We fill these up with water. We're gonna let these sit for a week. We're gonna change this out twice a twice a day. Excuse me. Uh, so twice a day, we're going to uh, change out the water on this thing, and eventually, this is gonna go down on our baseball field. All right, so. Yeah, my Bermuda never looks good, but I've already started to kind of scalp it out. You can see here, um, I got this down to about three eighths of an inch today uh, on my mower. Uh, I've not been doing anything as far as really fertilizer feeds. I've gotten a, a couple foliar seed, uh, feedings in here there about a month or so ago. Just trying to boost that Bermuda up a little bit to just uh, get it to kind of fill in. Uh, I've had some TGR on there just to kind of slow the growth but yeah uh, I don't do really anything to, to try to get my Bermuda looking great uh, see, but yeah here we go this is kind of what we're working with we're gonna start edging a little bit we ran a string line you can't see that but that's all the way to the left 12 inches from that line to that line we're gonna put that perfectly at 12 inches down there and uh, we're going to completely tear this out and get this all dialed in uh, if you're anything like my field your Bermuda edges just kind of creep into your baselines. It was actually worse than this earlier this summer and I've actually ironically edged once. But yeah, so we're gonna go around and we're going to um, edge all this field out. All right, got a nice sharp new edger blade on there, nice and tight, ready to go. Edging time. All right, 
right, I'm gonna use a hula hoe actually to clean out these edges, which is not something that I typically like to do or normally do during the season, because what it does is it creates these big chunks uh, that you're from your transition from your, your grass to your baseline and I uh, don't want that but I'm planning a big uh, renovation where I'm going to be coming in here and um, back filling in these baselines with new infield material and getting those uh, edges flush anyway so chunking this out and ripping this out is not a bad thing right now I try to avoid doing that usually like during season when I'm edging uh, I'll just try to kind of scratch out the little grass things that I have um, but right now, after the summer, after all that Bermuda overgrowth, knowing that I'm going to do my edges, uh, we're going to use this hula hoe today uh, to get this thing straight. All right, we leaf raked up all these piles here. Uh, I got these lines nice and straight, dug a little bit lower. Uh, on purpose here. I'm going to clean this out a little bit better right here so you can kind of see what we're working with here. And uh, yeah, not bad for a uh, conference period getting all this done before lunchtime. All right, so we're Thursday night after practice and we're going to blow out these edges here with this hose. We're just trying to get all this little gunk and the little pebbles and conditioner and, and all that stuff kind of out of the uh, out of those edges there. And then what I'll probably end up doing tomorrow morning is coming back through there with the string uh, line and the uh, edger one last time to get one more final clean cut uh, after we get all that done. All right, it's Tuesday, October 4th, or October 3rd, excuse me. Uh, I've scalped this thing down as low as I'm going to be able to get it here. Uh, my Allet mower uh, only goes down to about 3 eighths of an inch, and then I borrowed a mower uh, today, my buddy's mower, and went down to uh, a quarter. Uh, yesterday, I uh, sprayed some heavy, heavy dose of growth regulator uh, on this thing uh, and let this absorb for a day. Uh, I'm really just trying to ding this Bermuda. I don't want it popping up anymore uh, once I put this seed down tomorrow in this topper. Uh, we're coming through with our so sorrel roller here and uh, we're gonna spike, uh, spike roll. Uh, I got this weighted down here just so it goes a little deeper. We're gonna sp spike roll this field here once. Um, you can kind of see I just kind of got it on there. That's essentially what it's doing to it there. Uh, and then I'm going to put the seed down tomorrow and uh, the topper, and then I'm gonna spike roll it again uh, in place of what would normally be a compaction roll, uh, just to compact it and spike that thing into the ground. So that's where we're at here. Um, it's been a really productive week. I pretty much set out a timeline of everything that I wanted to get done uh, over the last seven days, and uh, it's been pretty good. spike aerated the whole field I'm gonna make kind of an executive decision here I was I'm gonna do an actual full aerate just in some tough spots um, like around some cutouts and some things that get a lot of wear uh, where like position players uh, play um, there's just some spots that, that are just really compacted and I can kind of tell when my spike roller my sorrel roller won't really go into the ground uh, so I'm gonna probably just do one pass like all the way around the edges and then like this area here like where like short stops and third basements, uh, you know, like to, to live in here. It's super compacted. You can see I can, I got my spikes in there a little bit, but these things like right in here, like they're not going in very far. Like, I don't know how well you can see that, but like I've got the spike that goes in and then my roller in the front. And when the roller is not rolling, I know that um, it's not getting in there deep because it's not, into the ground so i'm just going to kind of take my regular aerator and just kind of uh, go one little pass around uh, some of those tough spots and beat those areas up a little bit uh... all right i was having some, having some fun with this aerator here um, i went two passes on this one and then i actually went through it again just because i really want to beat the heck out of this this area here gets so much wear and tear
got my scale here. I got 41 pounds of wetting agent left in this bag. I need to apply 28 of it. Lateral DG that I got from my buddy Greg Fernald. He sells this stuff. He sold, uh, sent this to me. Uh, he's the man. He is the uh, guy who does all the, or used to, he moved on to, he moved to Ohio, uh, but did all the fertilizers um, for the San Francisco Giants when I was there. So if you're uh, interested, hit Greg up here, get some of this stuff from him. It's good stuff. All right, so a couple things. First off, usually when I do my fertilizer applications, I'm gonna measure out uh, how far I need and I'm gonna put a little irrigation flag and I'm gonna make myself a little grid and I'm gonna get like equal coverage all the way around. I'm gonna have everything calibrated in perfectly, especially when I'm doing nitrogen. Um, however, today I'm using this wetting agent. I think I just mentioned a second ago, I can't burn anything by putting down or overlapping too much. So I'm not worried about that. And then two, I'm so far behind schedule. I don't wanna take the time. So I'm just gonna kind of stride it out, kind of eyeball it, and we're just gonna kind of go and just hope for the best. And uh, cause I wanna get home uh, before dark. So here we go. We've got roughly 20 pounds of grass seed here. Um, that we have pre-germinated and I'm a little bit concerned about this because again, this is the first time I've done this before um, And it's also pre-germinated an extra day longer than what it's supposed to actually I'm sorry two days longer than what it's supposed to so uh, We've kept this thing wet. We're hoping that it's hoping for the best uh, Eco strap pellet fertilizers that we're gonna mix these this grass seed with so that it sticks to that and it will come out the drop spreader. It's, um, it's like a 4 2 0 ratio. Uh, people use malorganite as well. Um, I don't have access to malorganite in my area. Uh, so what I'm going to mix, uh, you basically you do a 4 to 1 seed, excuse me, fertilizer to seed ratio. There's 8 pounds of seed that I just dumped in there. That's what that looks like. It smells like rotten grass. Hopefully that means it's good to go. Um, so I'm gonna dump about two thirds roughly of that into that. And then I've got these other buckets here with the rest of it, but I'm gonna do them in portions right now. All right, that's roughly about four pounds of seed. I've got about half of uh, what was in that bin in here. So you can see how much seed we're dropping down with that stuff. Um, I'm gonna start off here by showing you guys how I put my flags and how I keep my line straight using this drop spreader. I know some people use a broadcast spreader to, to, to apply this fertilizer. I don't, I want it to be even good, proper coverage. Uh, I start off on an edge here, and what I'll do is I'll make a marker. If you watched my video last year, I used irrigation flags. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to put an irrigation flag on everyone. You really only need two markers. So I'm using these two yellow screwdrivers. I'm going to put one here on my left wheel, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on my line here. I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to pivot, and then I'm going to put this other screwdriver on the right wheel down there. And what that then I'm going to do, do is I'm going to use, I'm going to that should have my this left wheel pivoted to where it should come straight down to the screwdriver uh, and I'll just kind of straight line it with my eyeballs with this wheel going to this here I'll pivot again pop the screwdriver and now I'll be going towards that screwdriver there and so I just use these screwdrivers just kind of to keep me on a line so I'll just kind of demonstrate this as I go so I'm going to start here Here I have this left wheel going right towards the screwdriver. I'm going to pivot again, and then I'm going to put this. I'm going to replace this screwdriver. And I'm going to put it back here to this back wheel here. Now my right wheel. I'm going to keep right where it's at, and I'm going to go right towards that other screwdriver. do that all the way across the field and then I'm gonna go the opposite direction so let's do give me all right I'm taking a quick break here uh, it's been a disaster it's super hot out there um, trying to go way too fast and the seeds just drying out like crazy decision. I'm gonna put down a little bit of dry seed uh, just maybe a pound per thousand just on top of the, the other stuff just because if this stuff is gonna be bad if it dries out it's bad because uh, I can't get it down fast enough so I'm up here in the snack bar and uh, 
just sit in the shade for a minute because I needed a break. So this seed, I'm not expecting this to go well. Uh, I'm not feeling great about it. And uh, this is probably the last time I'm gonna pre-germinate seed for my outfield, excuse me, for my infield. Not worth it. There's 40 bags of topper. I got 20 here and 20 over there uh, that are gonna go on top today. And then obviously we're gonna keep this thing wet. And uh, yeah, here we go. All right, we're at the halfway mark of getting this topper on here, so I'm taking another break. Uh, I need a little bit of water. My back's killing me, it's hot. I'm ready to be done. Uh, I'll get a little bit of footage now. I've had my camera in there kind of uh, recharging. Uh, yeah, uh, we are gonna get the gator, and when, when we're done with this, we're gonna just throw a light drag over this maybe once or twice, just to kind of evenly uh, even this out just a little bit. It's pretty even. Part. And then we're going to take the sorrel roller and uh, sorrel roll that in. And we're going to get some water on it as soon as possible. Um, I'm ready to be done. It's been a long day. All right, finally, uh, I got everything spread. I used all the bags, but about two. Um, I'm gonna drag the crap out of this real quick, try to even this out a little bit. And then if there's some low spots, I'll go back over with those couple extra bags that I have. Um, but man, it's, uh, it's coming along. All right, I got a little bit of weight on this drag here. I'm gonna pull this around and I'm just gonna make a few passes around in some circles and uh, just try to even this out as, as much as I can. it looks like uh, all done doesn't look like much huh uh, time to do a little trash run and uh, then we'll make sure the sprinklers are all dialed in and uh, hopefully we'll get out of here I see the Sun's already setting so it's got to be 630 I'm guessing already it's been a heck of a day hey guys thanks for watching this video leave me any questions or comments you have like and subscribe I'll have a follow-up video soon with the results